Good afternoon, sophomores and parents. Uh, my name is Mike Kern. I'm the Director of Curriculum for Fairless Local Schools. And today I'd like to take some time to speak with you about how our remote learning plan will function from November 3rd through November 16th. Remote learning is gonna look different than it did in the spring. Um, it will be following the student's normal school day schedule. And so we first wanna make sure that students know what's expected of them. And so tomorrow on November 4th, we'll be having an orientation day. And we're gonna ask that students and parents, please make sure they're, they're checking their emails regularly, especially check your email uh, this evening to uh, look for an email from Mr. Remanerick. That email will have uh, the orientation links and the bell schedule that students will be following. And students are gonna to wanna to follow the directions as they're written on that email for them to uh, participate in an orientation throughout the day. And while there is gonna be uh, some meetings or activities with every class tomorrow, uh, specifically during Mr. Sarbaugh's class, uh, there will be a full class period dedicated to orienting students as to what remote learning will look like, how their daily schedule will function, uh, how attendance is gonna be taken, uh, and things like that. Uh, all of our classes are gonna follow a pretty consistent type of schedule with the exception of geometry and algebra two. Uh, students in Geometry and Algebra 2, we will be utilizing the Acellus Learning Platform, and uh, information about that will also uh, be given to students tomorrow in the orientations. So what will remote learning look like? So starting November 5th and through November 16th, uh, our students will be following their normal high school schedule in a virtual environment. Uh, so there will be a, a sophomore Google Classroom, and that Google Classroom will have meeting links and class work posted, uh, but students will start with their first period class, they'll go to their second period class and throughout their entire school day uh, where they will receive their instruction and their classwork, and it will all be done in a virtual environment. Uh, during remote learning, attendance is calculated a little bit differently. So attendance is calculated uh, by first having logged into the class Google Meet with their camera on so that the teacher and student can uh, interact and uh, uh, participate in classes together, and also for completion of the daily work. So it's a three-pronged attendance approach that students will be uh, held accountable to during, during remote learning. English, science, and social studies courses will have daily Google Meets, uh, math, uh, and math alone will have a daily Acellus class. Uh, and then students will have elective classes that will have daily work that can be independently completed. So that's what the, the, the remote learning is gonna look like and how it's gonna function. And again, more information about this uh, structure will be gone over in a lot more detail uh, tomorrow in the orientation sessions in Mr. Sarbaugh's class. We've had a couple of questions come in already this morning and we wanna follow up with some information on all of those. First, what will students need to be able to complete remote learning? Uh, the most important tool they're gonna to need is their school issued Chromebook and charger. Uh, they will need access to the internet uh, and paper and pencil. And if your student does not have any of the above supplies, please email us using the Falcon helpline at fairless.spark.org so that we can help to uh, connect you with resources uh, that are needed to complete the remote learning. Can students get school meals? And uh, just as we did for remote learning in the spring, a, a survey was sent out to parents today, allowing them to sign up for meal pickup on uh, Wednesdays at 4 p.m. Uh, those meal pickups will be for a week's worth of meals at a time. Um, we just ask that you please make sure you fill out the form and get it turned in prior to the deadline uh, so that the uh, cafeteria can have those ready for you to pick up. Where can students access the login points, the Google Meet links, and the assignments? Uh, we've done everything we can to try to have a single 
access point for all of our students work to be put on uh, and so expect tomorrow in the orientations for this to be gone over quite a bit, but there'll be a Google Classroom that is a single Google Classroom for all of the sophomore classes. Uh, and uh, the Google Classroom code is there, it's Z-U-D-E-Z-T-D. -E uh, but that's where everything's gonna be posted. And uh, we're gonna ask that students please make sure they monitor that and follow that through so they can follow their schedule and, and, and make sure they stay up on their assignments. Uh, but most importantly, you know, as we all have seen going through the spring and heading back to school this fall, uh, we know that this, is, this certainly is not the uh, most ideal environment for students to be educated in when there's, you know, there's uh, school closings or kids having to be at home and things of that nature. And so we're just going to continue to reiterate to families, you know, as you, as you need help, as you run into questions or concerns, uh, to please utilize that Falcon helpline at fairless.spark.org as, as your uh, place to seek out information, to seek out help. Um, you know, all of, our, all of our staff here at Fairless Local Schools are committed to your child's success and to provide them with uh, every opportunity they can to be successful through this progress, through this process. So I just encourage you to continue using the Falcon helpline uh, so that we can be uh, up to speed on what your needs and concerns are as well. Uh, tomorrow uh, will be orientation day for remote learning. Um, a lot of in-depth information will be given to uh, students at that time. Uh, in the meantime, please stay safe and uh, continue to submit any questions or concerns to the Falcon Helpline. And we look forward to uh, having our sophomores back in-house at Fairless High School on November 17th. Have a great rest of your day.